Hi, Patricia here with RacingSelfReliantChild.com. Today, I'm going to share with you some websites that I found that offer free math help. So I hope this will be helpful in your homeschool. So let's get started. The first one I found is called MathDisc. This website is actually for quite advanced students, so at least high school level and above. So um, it's pretty uh, advanced, like I said, and you can do things that are 3D in nature with graphics and stuff like that. It's, it's really cool. So for example here, let's just choose any examples in the gallery. Let's say this one, Spirit of a Coordinate. And I'm sure you have to go through a learning curve in order to learn how to operate the website and their software. But if you're already in that level of math, this can be pretty useful to help you visualize and understand. So here we go. This is the sphere. And there are some vectors in there. And see how you can flip it around and take a look and see how the vectors really help you visualize the vectors. And you can turn it like this and that and so on. Like, let's put it like we are looking from the top. And then if you move the vectors, I actually want to move the vectors. See how you can move that and just come up with different measurements that way. So I think this would be really helpful for people that are already in that level. The next site that I found is called mathway.com. This has a free version and a premium version. The free helps you with solving the problem that you might have and they'll give you the answer. The, you will have to pay their, their fee, their subscription fee, in order to, to view the steps of how to get the answer. Of course, that's what usually you will need. But, you know, it might, it might help either way. And if you decide to go ahead and use the subscription, the, the, the good about this is that you can plug in any number. So you can follow your curriculum and then come here and get some help just by plugging in the, the numbers that you might have in your own curriculum. So let's say basic math. And I'll, I'm just going to put seven. And there it is, of course. That's the answer. And like I said, here is their explanation. And you cannot view that step because you have to pay. The next one is Ken Ken. This is a real fun puzzle solver. You can have puzzles from 3 by 3 to 9 by 9. So that can be pretty, actually pretty complicated to solve. So here is the how to play option. And, and it'll show you steps by steps, like for instance in this 3 by 3 matrix, how you need to solve it. And all, there is the old explanation in there. So you can take a look in more detail if you're interested. I used to use this, and we still do from time to time, but we do use the Right Start Math curriculum for homeschool, and they have a lot of warm-up exercises. So sometimes I would substitute their exercises with this Ken Ken puzzles. And it was fun because it was a way to spice up the, 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 the old warm-ups that Sometimes my son would have a little bit of, of a burnout doing. So it might help too for your rest, for your home school. The next slide is MathVid. This is pretty much a collection of videos from different teachers, math teachers. There is tons of materials in here from middle school and high school, I would say. But again, you might want to check just to make sure. Oh yeah, there it is, middle school, of course high school and college math. So this might come in handy if you spot a teacher whose style you like, so or that your children would prefer, so then I think this would be a good alternative if, if that's the case. The next site is called Math is Fun. And it's a nice site. They have different topics in here and they also have games and I think they really did a nice job in presenting the material. So Again, you might want to explore and see what you like best. But pretty much it's a very friendly and fun place to use. 
Next is multiplication.com. There is not only multiplication in here. There are more things like math games and division games and, and different geometry games. But um, what I found interesting about this site is that for multiplication, they have developed some mnemonic methodologies to help you learn the tables, to help the child learn the tables. So if your child is an auditory learner, I think this might come in very handy for him or her because they have rhymes or songs and, and other auditory devices that can make multiplication learning fun or different. It might be worth a try. Next up is helpingwithmath.com. They pretty much have tons of uh, worksheets and all the types of materials and they have it all divided by subjects from fractions, geometry, decimals, algebra. It has uh, quite a bit of material. So I think you might again find that helpful. The next site is Huda Math. And I like this. I think the younger kids will too because it's a lot of just games that you can have the kids practice through games. And you which kid doesn't like that? So there you have it. Next is mathworksheetsland.com. This appears to have been built by a math teacher who decided to collect everything she knew, everything, everything she wanted to teach, and share it with everybody. So there is quite a bit of information in here, and all of them are downloadable, downloadable worksheets. Next is mathaids.com. These are dynamically generated worksheets. So that they, you can have, there are a lot of different topics that you can have worksheets with. And since they're dynamically generated, some of them and you could, I think, I did use these for, for a couple of, for one of, uh, a couple of our math games classes. And what I left Afterwards, I would leave a worksheet or two as homework. And some of them would allow it somewhat to have customized numbers, not very much. But they're very helpful that, you know, that everything is ready for you in that sense. And the last side that I have to share with you today is free math help. This appears to be for older children because they have advanced topics like algebra, trigonometry, and calculus, and statistics. So if your child is a high schooler and is already covering those subjects, then there might be some free math help here for him or her. So that wraps up my roundup of free math help websites. I hope some of them have, uh, will, will be useful for your homeschool. If you know of any other sites that might make it into this list, please share them with us. Leave a comment below and let us know what can be included in this list so that we can all benefit from that. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I intend to continue to bring more tips and resources for us homeschoolers. Thank you and see you next time.